my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Jillian and in today's video I'm gonna be doing a Target haul I've been getting a lot of requests for me to start filming more shop with me videos and also hauls so I just got back from Target I have about three bags of things although one bag is more I guess boring stuff it's just necessities I needed but I do have a few other things that I purchased and some things I also bought from the Target dollar spot so I thought I would share with you guys what I purchased this time around at Target. I'm gonna try to get through this really quickly because I have to leave like in five minutes to go pick up Brian from school. But the first bag is just, like I said, necessities that I needed. The first thing is just some bar soap. So these Caress bar soaps. I also bought some shampoo. I was almost out of shampoo and I really love the Dove shampoo. I think it works really well for drugstore. It makes my hair super soft and shiny and smells amazing. So I bought some more. Dove shampoo. The kids are almost out of their hand soap in their bathroom, so I just bought them this Method One in Waterfall. Mrs. Myers is coming out with the new scents for spring, and I'm so mad. I thought I put the peony scent in my cart, but I guess I didn't because it's not in my bag. But I do have the mint scent, and it smells so good, you guys. I'm really bummed that they didn't have anything else. They didn't have um like the dish soap or anything else. I'm gonna go back and see if I can find it. Hopefully I can find the hand soap and a dish soap so I can have the complete set. But all I found was the multi-purpose spray cleaner. Then Ryan was out of his mouthwash. I just got him some more mouthwash. And then it's these two things are new that I would like to try. The first thing is by Clean and Clear. It is this lemon zesty scrub. So I like Clean and Clear products. So I thought we'd try this out. And I read a few reviews and they seem to be good. So excited to try that little scrub out and then this Aveeno clear complexion daily moisturizer I love Aveeno it's a really great brand I have sensitive skin so it works really good on my skin never tried this daily moisturizer out so hopefully it's good because it was like $13 for this so I'm hoping that it works really well this next bag I have this from the Target seller spot I believe this was five dollars it is a dinosaur and my son can grow his own little plant or flower in here. He loves to garden. He loves to do things outside. So I thought once it starts getting warmer out and we start planting more, I thought he could do his own little plant in here and he can put it in the front yard or the backyard wherever he likes it. I thought was just super cute. I also bought Madison this cute shirt. I'm obsessed with Cat and Jack brand. I think the quality is really good and the prices are really good as well. The shirt was $4.50. And it's just like a jean, a blue color, and then it has white hearts all over it. So I grabbed her that shirt. Then I also got from the Target's dollar spot this mini um, cake stand. I have a few of these. I like to put like little candles on it. And I have a miniature candle in my guest bathroom that I want to put it on. So I grabbed that. That was a dollar. And you guys, I found these slippers. Although they are two sizes too big for um, Ryan. I had to get it it was on clearance so it was originally ten dollars on clearance for two dollars and 98 cents i don't know if you guys can see at all but 298 i could not say no so eventually he will fit into it i plan on giving it to him for his birthday his birthday's in two weeks so grabbed that and this is from the build a bear workshop and then in this next bag i have this little cute toy for my niece i'm sending my niece a little package her birthday just passed and I still have the package to send to her. So I thought I'd throw this in here for her. It's really cute. It's supposed to light up. There's a tag down here that you pull so it can light up, but I don't want to pull it because I don't want it to light up right now. But I thought it was really cute. So I grabbed her that to put in her little box. And then I wanted to throw something in there for my sister as well. So I just got her this bath bomb. She likes to take baths and relax. So it's just a love bomb, it says, and that there's a surprise inside. It was originally $6, but on clearance for 3 so I grabbed her that. Then for Ryan as well, I thought this would be really cute. It's only a dollar, and he can grow his own little poppy flower. And I thought that was super cute. So he has that dinosaur he can grow something in, and then also this. So he's going to be super excited because he loves to garden. So my cousin is coming in next weekend for a few days to stay with us to visit and it's her birthday. So I got her something. I got her this basket from Target's dollar spot. It was $3 and I'm gonna put her gift in here. And then she likes to work out. So I know she likes to drink a lot of water as well. So I got her this water bottle. It's glass with a wooden top and then has like this purple silicone thing around it. And this was $5. So I grabbed her that. 
I also grabbed her a bath bomb. It says treat yourself in lavender fields. And then I also got her this candle in spring blooms. And this candle I believe was, yeah, $3 for the candle and it smells really good. And then you guys, this last bag is literally full of just Legos. You guys can't even see, but it's full of Legos. These were only a dollar each. My son's birthday is in two weeks. We're gonna have a Lego themed birthday party. And I was planning on putting one pack of these um, little building blocks in the goodie bags. But since they're just one solid color and it's not a bunch of different colors, I figured I won't do that. And what instead I would do is make a station where they can build and create whatever they would like. And since these are cheap, if they lose them, I don't care. And then whatever they create, I will let them take home with them. Because originally I was going to bring down Ryan's Legos, but his Legos are not cheap. His Legos are pretty expensive. And I wouldn't want any of them losing them. And then I don't know if I would let them take them home just because they're Ryan's expensive blocks. So figured these dollar ones, they can take home whatever they create. If they lose any, I don't care. It was only a dollar. So I literally bought like 20 bags um, of a bunch of different colors. So I'm just going to make a station and they can build stuff. And I think that's it, yeah. That was the last item that I purchased from Target. If you guys would like me to do a haul on all the birthday items I'm purchasing for my son, it is going to be Lego themed and I've already started buying supplies and like decorations. So if you guys would like to see a haul on that to give this video a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments and I will film it. I didn't think you guys would want to see it, but maybe you do. So just let me know if you guys would like to see that. And I would definitely film it for you guys. So yeah, that is the end of my Target haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give my video a thumbs up. Also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. I would really love to have you join my YouTube family. I have a lot of future fun videos planned. So remember to turn on your notification bell so you're notified anytime I do upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,